Welcome back to Core Solutions of Skype for Business 2015, Configuring and Implementing Conferencing in SFB 2015. So in the last video, installing and configuring OWA server, we installed an OWA server and then added it to the SFB topology. In this video, configuring conferencing in SFB. So configuring, assigning, and validating conferencing policy. Configure a conferencing policy, assign a conferencing policy, validate a conferencing policy, and validate OWA server integration. So in the SFB management shell, type a little PowerShell here, new conferencing policy, the new DIT. Great. Great. To allow for, so we set this one and allow conference recording one, allow external users to record meeting. Now I'm going to go for the SFB control panel. So I'm going to go in the web and pool, give this a try right here. I'm going to log in as the domain admin, password. Log in as the domain admin. Click on conferencing. New policy. And I'm going to send you this new user policy. Management. And I'm going to do is this allow federated anonymous ones to download content. Uncheck this one right here. And I'm going to disable application sharing. Disable it right there, and then I'm going to commit. Great. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign a conference in policy. So listen right here. What I'm going to do is type in something in the this one right here, I'm going to type it in the Skype for Business Management shell right around here. I'm going to go just to give us a little bit more room on there. So get the user and the OU as IT and grant the competing policy for IT to them. Great, it's all done. Now I'm going to do is this. Go back to here. And click on users. This is going to be the user search. I'm going to add filter. And I'm going to say OU. And this is equals. That's the way it is. And I'm going to specify the DN. Which the manager's OU. And I'm going to click Find. Great. Now I see Add Meadows right here. And the action for him. I'm going to sign policies. The conferencing policy, and I take management, and I'm going to click OK. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to validate conferencing policies right here. I'm going to go to London Client 1.
the Sky for Business windows right there. On the options menu right there. I'm going to click on Meet Now. It's going to give something about it right here. I'm not going to set up an audio device. We have right here. Right here. I'm going to invite more people. I'm going to type Amir Zaki, our friend that we used before. Let's take a look on CL2. Supposed to be a bit great. Okay. I know I could see from Ed Meadows, it says there. Great. Now, this policy is under right here. It's under Ed's conferencing policy because he's the meeting organizer. On this one right here. So on our mirrors, I'm going to click present desktop right here. I'm going to click on present. So this one's right here. I'm sharing my desktop right here. Okay. Let me go back to CL1 on right here. Now, um, on this one right here, I'm going to say, am I going to accept meeting content? This way I can see, now I can see um, Amir's desktop. Now on CL2, I'm going to start presenting. And of course, on CL1, notice it's gone now. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to validate OWA integration. So on CL1, I'm going to open PowerPoint on this one right here. here. Close this. You see a blank presentation. Whatever you watch test. Did I do good? File. Save as, I'm going to browse, on the desktop, test, on the desktop, now I've placed it on the desktop, and what I'm going to do is this, What I'm going to do is on here, I'm going to go back to the meeting. The meeting with him. And the present, I'm going to do is this. I'm going to present PowerPoint files on this. Browse the desktop. And I'm going to say open. Now this is going to start uploading the file to the OWA server. You have to wait for it to complete. So it's uploaded to the OWA server. Let me do this. 
I'm going to go to CL2 on this one right here. And right here. And when he says on this right here, great. Right? Now I can see in this right here. Now I can see this one right here. Good. See, and I can change it and everything on here. Great, fantastic on here. And the more options right there, right here. I can end the meeting. I'm going to accept the warning. Okay. So I validated the Office, the OWA server integration because I was able to do it, see it from one to the other, and it went up into a uh, using the OWA server. This concludes this video. Thank you.